Nicholson. Mm. Picks up the loose ball. Of course, he can't go too far back now. That the fence is here, but it's a good throw. Headed backwards by Bradford Park Avenue defender. And it goes out for a Geisley corner. Wow, a long throw that actually produces something. Right, right into that... Uh, I may have been listening to Test Match Special, but right into that corridor of uncertainty in front of the goalkeeper. Between the goalkeeper and the defender. Defender just has to flick it back uh, out for a corner. So real opportunities here. That's exactly what it was, though, wasn't it? It made things very uncertain. And if I'm right in thinking, Bradford Park Avenue did concede from a corner... Or two on Saturday, and Geisley oh, have yes. got the first goal. Yeah, just came in uh, from the uh, Geisley left-hand side. Uh, just landed almost fortuitously at Aaron Martin's feet. Swung a left leg at it, straight into the back of the net through a crowd of players. It's a poor goal for Bradford to concede, but who cares? It's Geisley 1-0 up. Now Johnson picks up a handy clearance by Geisley, then looks to come in field. He's got acres of space to find Aaron Solomon on this left-hand side. Gets to the edge of the penalty area. He needs to try and get the shot off. He does. And he scores. Aram Solomon. Then we just cut them wide open. Aram Solomon just had half the pitch to himself there. Absolutely terrible to let him have that much space. He got to the edge of the box. A lovely side-footed shot. Keeper got a hand to it, but could only push it onto the post. Into the back of the net. Two goals, first 25 minutes. There's Aaron Martin and Gabriel Johnson combined to win the ball back now for the Lions as they burst over the halfway line. Johnson, 23 to Martin. Martin with the low, perfect cross. Ooh. Solomon inches away from getting there. Big knot screens for a penalty. We're not going to get that. The ball is kept in, though, by Kane Felix. Up towards the back post, again, where Martin is lurking. And it goes behind it's for a corner. a corner. With the corner, again, a deep one up towards the back. But it's found the head of Martin. Oh. It's there. Guys, late. have a third. And Aaron Martin with the header at the back post. Once again, very poor defensively from Breath Park Avenue. Missing with crosses today. So George Cantrell with the throw on this near side. To the right of where we are in the pavilion. He's the one two with Johnson. Back now to Solomon. And now Johnson again. Low cross into Cantrell. Now Spencer working it neatly inside the 18 yard box. Plenty of home players back. He's nodded back across and there it is. A goal for guys like, and it's a hat trick for Aaron Martin, who nods in from close range. Wow! Just allowed to pass it around in the box. Cantrell and uh, Jamie Spencer working well down the right-hand side, and then a sort of looping cross to the back post. Nodded back by, I'm sorry, I didn't see who it was. Maybe it was even Kane. Um, and then, then Aaron Martin with the simplest of headers uh, into the back of the net for 4-0. Ah, oh, now as soon as I've said that, after a break, yeah, and it's a good break and a good ball from the number seven of Alex Hurst to find Lewis Knight. Lewis Knight snatches at his shot though and drags it wide. Last season, with the way he was playing, you'd think you'd think he'd have buried that. Throwing for Geisley, 61 and a half minutes gone. Long throw into the penalty area, oh. and it's oh. nearly a fifth for the Lions. Scott Garner narrowly heading wide. And then with the low ball into Spencer. Spencer, lovely touch. Oh, what, a what, a what a goal! What a goal! What an absolute belter from Jamie Spencer, and none more deserving than him on his performance tonight to get that goal. Absolutely beautiful. 5 0. Don't mind if I do. And there we go. Full time. 5-0 victory in the first away game of the season here at Bradford Park Avenue. Mark Avenue, Marcus, you must just be delighted. Yeah, it says it in the scoreline, doesn't it? 5-0 and it really was a five-star performance as well to match. And um, delighted for the boys because it was a difficult game to come into. Obviously a local derby and they're coming off the back of a 5-0 loss. They're in front of their home fans, their first game of the season. So, you know, we had to weather... We knew they'd, they'd come out and they changed system on us. They made some personnel changes as well. Um, but the players acquitted themselves well and you know, we came in at half-time 3-0 three, three to the good and you know, second half we just went to another level with our football. You could pick it 1-11 to 11 in terms of standout performances but I suppose we've got to talk about Aaron Martin. You've brought in a striker who could get goals. Hat-trick tonight. Yeah, and you know, there's so much to his game. First and foremost, he's a real competitor and he, and he gives any centre-half problems physically. Um, he really wears them down. But don't underestimate his football intelligence. There's a real genuine 
proper football player there in, that, in, in Aaron Martin. We can build off him, we can play off him. Um, I know we're absolutely delighted and um, yeah, he, you know, pre-season he was playing really well and probably the, you know, the goals, the goals weren't coming and I think we went to Parkgate and we're delighted he got off us, you know, he, he got off on his run at Parkgate but certainly in the league now I think that's, is that four and two if I'm right? Excellent, he, he can be, he can be really pleased with himself. And I suppose the goal of the night, right at the end, Jamie Spencer, that's 3-2 for him, a player who wasn't really a goal scorer before this season, but he's not doing bad, is he? No, listen, when we've seen Jamie, you know, we really felt he's got a lot of quality in the final third. I know Bradford played him in, as a 10 last year, and we just thought he's got more to his game than that um, in terms of he can play in the in defending third, he can get us into the mid third and he, he can also occupy the final third. So he's a really, for us, an all-round midfielder and we didn't want to take that final third away from him. And um, you, you've seen his quality on Saturday and again he's repeated it tonight. And there must be a real feel-good factor, in not just the two wins, but two really good performances to go with it. Yes, and I'm sure the supporters have got to be delighted in terms of the team they're seeing at the moment. It's young, it's youthful, it's vibrant. Um, it's playing attractive football um, and I'm sure the fans are enjoying it and um, you know on Saturday obviously we got the plaudits it was our first win for how many years in the opening day of the season but we actually came off the pitch a little bit disappointed in terms of we never imposed our football um, on Kings Lynn um, but we certainly got to that next level tonight we never came away from our mentality and our physicality um, and our work rate and our energy and enthusiasm. But on top of that, I mean, you saw you've, you you saw the football play tonight and some of the goals, um, you know, they're, they're of the high standard. And you talk about the supporters at full time being applauded off. It doesn't get much better, does it, that yeah, feeling? Yeah, no, and it, and it is. And, you know, it's they've been brilliant. You know, they've been through some hard times. But hopefully now, let, let's hope this is a new era and a new, you know, a new dawning for Geisley in terms of, you know, we, we feel now we've got a group of players we can build on rather than each year it's a, it's a complete new refit so to speak so for us it's a young group it, it enables us to develop it grow it add one or two along the way and develop our a lot, develop our own as we go and it must be a lovely feeling for yourself when you got that first goal on Saturday and then your first hat trick tonight yeah I was, you know sometimes um, as a striker it can be a bit nerve wracking if you haven't if you scored for a few games and that's where it kind of felt um, in pre-season you know not being as successful as I'd like um, but you know, it seems like I've saved them all for the season, which that's what counts. <laughs> and the team are top of the table tonight, so it must be a fantastic feeling in the dressing room. Yeah, you know, spirits are high. We're we're not looking too much into it. It's on the early doors of the season, but you know, in football, you have to you have to enjoy the highs while you can. You know, there's, there's a lot of lows, so we'll just enjoy this for the moment. But we'll keep our heads for Saturday.